crop size is another important parameter when training copycats. So how do you select the right crop size? Let's start by discussing what crop size means. When copycat is training, instead of processing the entire input frame at each step, it will only process a random selection of different crops from the input and ground truth frames. The size of these crops is determined by the crop size. So in that case, what is the best crop size to select? Well, say we wanted to remove one of the blemishes on this person's face, the one above his eyebrow. If we were using a small crop size when training copycats for this task, you can see that these three small crops taken around these blemishes look very similar. There isn't much context there, and there isn't really anything in these crops to help copycats distinguish between these blemishes. How does it know which one to keep and which one to remove? Now, if we increase the crop size, you start to see that the crops are capturing more context and information around the blemishes that help copycats figure out which ones should remain untouched and which ones should be removed. That is why the choice of crop size is important. You need to make sure that the crop size selected is big enough to capture enough information so that copycat can learn the task at hand. Because of this, smaller crop sizes are useful for tasks that don't need to learn much global context, like pixel-based effects, for example, upscaling. On the other hand, tasks like face editing or human segmentation may need more context when training and so require a larger crop size. Now, the upside of using a smaller crop size is that it has a smaller memory footprint and trains quicker. A larger crop size will require more memory and a longer time to train, but it also provides that context that is necessary for some tasks. In summary, you should select a crop size which is big enough to capture the context of the effect you're trying to achieve. Go with lower crop sizes for pixel-based tasks like upscaling and higher crop sizes for more complex semantic tasks.